Welcome, Justin and Corey here with the DTM Weekly DeFi Pick of the Week. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> surprise one, not really a surprise, one that I've been talking about for quite some time, Star Atlas. So one of my favorite projects um, that had a massive launch and looks incredible, but I was not picking it up uh <laughs> after the launch i missed the pre-sale i didn't get in on that um but getting in now where the project has had time to cool off we're about 95 98 down from all-time high we'll check it out on coin gecko here in a second but uh it's the time to start really looking at this project um we never know when the exact bottom is so we got a kind of dollar cost average in typically, but that's where, you know, I wanted to bring it to attention and uh, give it another, you know, fresh overview. I've done at least two or three of these now, um, but it's been a couple of years. So every six months, it's good to touch base and uh, it'll be interesting to look back and see how this evolves. So got it up here on CoinGecko, currently ranked number 470 as per market cap. So coming down, just looking at some of the info that we love here. So this is on the Solana chain, which is important that Corey's going to dive into here in a little bit. So you can see the soul scan as the Explorer. Um, great community as well. I mean, this project has anybody that's been in the crypto space, been tracking the gaming side of things, knows Star Atlas. And that's why this one's so exciting, uh, especially now as we're getting closer and closer to some of these launches. But coming up here, so we got a circulating supply and then looking at our total max supply. So we do have less than half of the coins out there right now. So something to keep in mind as an investor and or a trader. And then looking here down 98.9%. .9%. So significant sale from all time high. Um, with that being said, still up 32.2% since it was launched. So that's pretty cool to see, but we are making some moves here on the 30 day. This is something I keep track of. I like looking at the 30 days, see what these projects are doing month after month. And Star Atlas is creeping up there on the 30 day. So that's pretty cool. I like that you touched on, you know, the amount of supply that's been released compared to the max supply. So that's something that we always look at as traders, you know, is 65% of the coin going to be dumped on us? Um, or is it going to be slow release? So it's not necessarily a bad thing. This is a play to earn kind of game. So it's going to be released as bounties. So it's just, we want to verify the tokenomics. You know, it's going to ask a question and we want to verify that question before we get too uh, ahead of ourselves as investors. Yeah, very important. So diving into the website, um, this website's awesome. And, and one thing before I jump in, what I love about blockchain technology is really showcased in the gaming industry because blockchain can disrupt all social structures, like all these different systems. So in the traditional system that we're currently in and transitioning away from, in my opinion, you have things like entertainment, like playing games that does not provide a monetary return. You know, it gives you a return of satisfaction, joy, whatever it might be, whatever the reason is you're engaging in that activity, but there's no monetary return. When you roll in blockchain and NFTs and DeFi, all of your time and energy across all these different activities has a potential to provide a monetary return. And Star Atlas just kind of showcases that really well. So diving into the website here. So we got, it's kind of like a game. It's super cool. So I'll click here to enter. We're going to get sucked into this wormhole looking thing so they spent a lot of time on developing this which is super important to see and then as you scroll it's you're kind of going through a journey right so immerse yourself in the spectacular living metaverse and experience the future you know it's, just, it's all about ships and space so that's what we're seeing here the state-of-the-art uh spaceships like nfts all of this is is all about ownership with the gameplay um, which there's a significant sale going on right now to obtain some of these assets. So some of the characters, the ships, some plots of land, I mean, you name it, it's really cool. So yeah, love the website. It's very unique. It stands out. 
that's important. You dive into the community, it's it's insane, the community um side of things. So always always good to look there. But we've got land sales, right? So we can dive right in on the left hand side here. We got a few different options, but if we look at marketplace, this is going to give us a quick overview of everything available for sale right now. So different things, we've got ships, resources, collectibles, access, structures, story. I mean, you name it, some really cool stuff. So some of the featured things here, and they've got different ratings. So kind of like most video games or RPG type games, role-playing games, they've got different categories up to legendary and, and things like that. But this is what we wanted to show. So we've got this asset here, this ship. So this Titan class ship that's going for 500,000. Is that 5 million? Double check those zeros, man. Yeah. 5, million. 5 million USDC right now. And look at the top bid. Yeah, We're sitting at forty dollars. This is another reason I wanted to bring it up. It's something I've been watching, and I still haven't figured out exactly. I have to go through and look at each individual one. Um, if Star Atlas is actually selling for these bids, or if they're sitting on the assets, because I'm seeing a lot of these come through two hundred and fifty k to five million dollars, and the highest bid is like fifty to sixty bucks. So if you get into the land, you know, that's where, you know, it's a lot more expensive, but we have people in our network. We know people, friend of a friend who paid full price for these ships when it first launched. So they paid $250,000 for one of these ships right now. The highest bid doesn't mean that they're going to be sold for that bid. The highest bid being $46 or 50 bucks or 60 bucks kind of thing. Right? So uh, to me, that sniffs, that smells a whole lot, a whole lot like opportunity. Right. Um, but there's a whole lot more going on. So the big thing with, with metaverse is land, right? We're hearing that more and more, you know, plot your stake in the metaverse, in the game, whatever, whatever that platform might be. So this is opportunity. Um, for example, those ships, you know, even if even if you don't want to play the game all the time or you don't have time to play the game, you can actually rent out that ship to other users like Uber just for them to move around, things like that. So all of these, you're, you're putting your time and energy into a video game, but you own the assets in that video game and you can put those to work for you to create a, a a secondary revenue stream, a passive income, whatever it might be, you really get what you put into to these types of platforms uh, that are utilizing play to earn and NFTs. Super cool. And being on Solana, it really upped the game for graphics. Uh, you look at some of the Ethereum play to earn games and it's like, like Corey used the analogy the other day, it's going from Super Nintendo to top tier console xbox playstation whatever you're into top tier graphics top tier gameplay super cool and not just gameplay but we're comparing basically trading card games to full-on augmented reality metaverse right so this is where i get super excited and then yeah it's one that i actually look forward to playing not just investing into but being a part of the ecosystem so they do have a dao um there's a whole lot we could spend hours on this thing but uh maybe we just close it up with the trailer Justin, I think that'll really solidify things here. So there's multiple tiers, there's metaverse, there's NFTs, there's trading, you know, there's economy inside the metaverse and uh, real ownership. So, um, you know, Justin and I grew up playing Call of Duty, Halo, stuff like that. No matter how hard you played, no matter what, you could never own those items, right? You could never sell those items to other players. Some games you could trade it, but or drop them, but not actually get into a full monetary marketplace internationally and just plugging in with your wallet, right? So super cool stuff. And yeah, I love the trailer. Yeah, let's let's check this out. If it's a little so it's super smooth on here, if it comes through a little grainy, that's zoom. Jason reported a distress signal last night. The thing came from your dad's ship. 
the signal. It came from past the outer ring. How is that even possible? This ship has been reported missing for 20 years now. Ready to is not coming back. Go there. Come back, come back. What is this place? <laughs> times i've watched it i get more excited every time so, um it did come through a little glitchy but that's just that's zoom so i definitely invite you to watch it on their website it comes through crystal clear super clean uh it reminds me of like star wars high def you know realistic cgi and just action so everything from bounties through multiple worlds and uh you name it, discovery, you know, mercenaries, there's all sorts of cool stuff. So definitely do your research, uh, not financial advice, full disclosure, I am investing in Star Atlas myself, not whole huge bags, but I am definitely looking at the NFTs. I am picking up dollar cost averaging into the coin as well and uh, looking to be a player as well. So lots more to come. Uh, <laughs> something unique. I don't know how we can follow up with this one, but we'll have something for next week as well. As always, we look forward to your feedback. Let us know in the comments if you like what we're doing, if you have any requests, if you want to perhaps drop a project for us to review or uh, anything along those lines. So as always, um, practice proper risk management. And uh, yeah, Justin, any closing statements, words? Well, when it comes to some of these projects and, and really diving into the DeFi space, it can be quite a challenge when you're by yourself. So wanted to drop that the DeFi course is in bundle right now until January 1st. So check it out. There's a ton of content in there and it's ever evolving, just like DeFi space. So that's our goal. That's our promise to you is to continue to evolve with the space, keep you up to date on the bleeding edge. It is a completely different type of strategy than jumping into day trading and long-term trading or investing, even short-term swings like that. So very, very important to get educated up before you start diving heavy into these spaces because there's no customer service. If you make a mistake, it's on you and it's gone and no one's there to help you. But just like you can ask the investors that paid full price for these NFTs and for the coin too, right? So somebody bought that coin for the market to become active. Somebody paid top dollar and have had those assets come down 99%. So oof, oof, <laughs> it happens. But that's where dollar cost average, you know, if you're one of those guys, then hey, at least I hope you know what you invested into and are in it for the long haul, right? Because this next run up, who knows where that can go. So lots more to come. And uh, yeah, this is one that I'm actually really excited about. So same time and place next week. Trade safe. See you guys. See you guys.